Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript switch case statements will be used. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. Logical conditions are used to put different actions based on different decisions. Use switch to specify alternative blocks of code to be executed. Or jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course web ID can be used for this tutorial and also inspired this tutorial. JavaScript runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications. Server-side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications to run outside a web browser. So as you can see here, uh, the switch case or switch statement is, is used to specify alternative blocks of code to be executed. It's very common without a programming language. So all you do is you have a variable here. Uh, in my case, just for this tutorial, I say I say true because true will always be true. Then the case is the condition. So, for example, here, if num7 is greater than num8, then this is the block of code that will be executed. And and for the switch case, you need to have a break that tells it to when to stop executing the code. So to run this, in this case, it's just one um, single line of code, then it will break. The next case is when num7 is equal to num8. Again, it runs just a single line of block or code and then it will break. And then there's a default. What the default does is if these two case statements are false or not evaluated, then it will the default will be it says num8 is not greater than num7. So in this case, num7 is 41 and num8 is 77. So this first one on line four is false. This so this code will never execute. This one is also false because they're not equal. So this will not. But then we just run the default, which is this one here. So let's begin. So this is the ujumboshop.com web IDE that comes with the course for JavaScript. So make two variables here. You can copy and paste the code snippet, which I'll show you at near the end of the tutorial. So you can paste code in there and you can also type. Num8 equals 77. Then we can, we can create a variable, but I want it to be true. So it always runs. So we have case num7 is greater than num8 so if you pick this up you will notice it's very similar to the if else uh, this is the if part that's where that's similar to num7 is greater than num8 break And we can do the next one. This will be the else if equals num eight semicolon uh, no colon and so dot log num seven and num eight are equal. Next, uh, oh yeah, we need a break. Then we have the default colon as well. Eight is not greater than um, seven. So if everything is here, this should run. See, and it says num8 is not greater than num7. So if you go to ojumbo.com slash javascript hyphen switch hyphen case hyphen statement, you find the full article. We have the table here explain the switch case break and default. And a code snippet is here. You can click on that to expand the source. It's just a screenshot of the uh, the code editor, a built-in code editor. 
and then the screenshot of the output so it compiles it right in the web browser then you have the video you're watching right now and if you want to learn uh, JavaScript perfect for beginners or so jumboshop.com um, you just simply go there and you get 20% off for limited time until the end of 2024 using a promo code school uh, if you want to have an ebook uh, they're available on Amazon. You simply search for Editor Jumbo. Links are also in the description. And or you can go to the article and you get the references here. See, this is a learning JavaScript course on jumboshop.com. There's other courses as well, also on jumboshop.com. The ebooks, in this case, learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon. And if you want one on one tutorials online, you go to jumboservices.com, custom website, applications, and tutorials. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you.